I want to go into the Weald again, because I think we could benefit from some extra deeds and finally get that, the next chunk of uh, blacksmith upgrades ready. So I'm going with the Abomination crew and two characters that benefit from marked target. Uh, this this far party formation sort of started with the Abomination and then, of course, because I couldn't use Vestals, I went with the Occultist. Then with the, the, the Occultist, I figured, oh yeah, well, we'll set up for marked target again. Why not? Now, Bogdanius. I believe... I believe we upgraded your equipment last time, right? Yes, how's everyone else doing? Everyone's upgraded on equipment, that's good news. And we're mostly good here, I'd say. Cool. It's another reason to go with this crew, is because they're all set to go. Because we don't have a lot of money. But if I don't have to spend any money on characters right now, then we can save a lot. That said, there's some, pe there's some people that are doing poorly on stress. I think I may specifically try to have voice go back to town. Let's see. Well, they will only visit the brothel. It's not currently taken, but it's expensive, isn't it? Dear Lord, is it expensive. Brothel. I can only increase its number of slots next. It's uh, another point would, would decrease its cost. That is a lot of money. That's a lot of goddamn money for the brothel. Um, I think I'm gonna hold off. I think Voice can just wallow in their stress for now. I don't really want to spend half of my money. Let's just try to have a successful run after how poorly the last one went. I think that'll be what I want to have happen. Alright, I, I have my on this reward, too. Two speed and eight dodge, at the cost of being more susceptible to stunning and moving. The stunning and moving is bad, but the speed means getting the first action meaning getting in before the enemies, which can be really useful for the type of target that this would be, be used for in the first place, the rogue-type characters. Getting the shot off early means you could eliminate a target before they even get to attack. Meanwhile, the dodge helps avoid the incoming damage in general, which is, so it can be a, a godsend in many cases. Okay, you're currently equipped already. The bonus heals, move chances. Do I have a bonus debuff chance item? I think I do. That'd be handy to throw on them for that reason. The blight items. Got stuff all over the place. Sort by rarity to keep track of these things. Heals received. Right now with Lotus, we're going with the uh, super high damage items. I think I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The uh, scouting and trap disarm is great. That's good news. I think everyone in this party is pretty much already equipped. 1% crit's pretty crap, though. Do I have a better ranged skill item by now? Bonus damage is handy. Instead of 1% crit, for example. 10% accuracy and damage wouldn't hurt. I think I'm gonna go for that. Stun chances, speed. These items all over the places here. I think I'm gonna stick with my current equipment, but yeah, the bonus damage I think will help. Because we're gonna be marking targets and blowing them away with my ranged characters while this guy probably just uses Rake to pick up what's left. We'll see how it goes. Let's provision ourselves with our decent little... We have a decent little buffer of money, since I didn't spend any, to make up to make up for the fact that uh, we were wildly unsuccessful earlier. What if I should bring a few tricks around? Some bandages, perhaps? That seems like a reasonable thing to bring along. That'll help us with bleeds, at least, both self-inflicted and not. And now I have my moment of panic. Did I forget something? I brought torches and food, right? I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Okay, everything's there. I had a, mo I had a moment of panic where I thought the moment I clicked that I'd ruined everything. All right. The one problem with this party is that I'm kind of treating a... Kind of treating this guy's a tank. Not this guy, uh, the ab abomination. I was just glancing at that guy. That guy's skills really quick. The Abomination may not be the best frontliner without any sort of backup for damage to, uh, uh, protection, but I'm hoping that the sheer damage output of this party may be enough to deal with all the enemies we face. Hey, big guy. Definitely a party where I don't really want to be uh, shuffled. Oh, this this person back here. Let's deal with that. Ooh, both of these are bad. I'm not happy to see either of you. Let's work them down. All right. 
I'm gonna say vulnerability hex on, the, on this guy here, just because she's about to go down anyway. Oh, and it's a dodge. So much for that. All right. Hey, friend. I'm about to get scary, as it were. So Rake is attacks the front row, so it's kind of pointless right now. I might as well just go for the regular attack. Ooh, a chance to wipe her out. There we go. That doesn't hurt. Well, it hurts, it hurts somebody, but you know. Not me. Uh, don't go marking me. Do not appreciate. Excuse me. Snipe shot. Oh, yeah. There we go. Annoying people down. Now we just have the big scary frontline guy. Oh, no. That's the party rearranger. That's not good news. I have point blank shot, though. There we go. That's a decent damage dealer, and it pushed me back. This guy's 100 hit points. That is some scary stuff. And he resisted my hex. Oh, he has decent debuff resist. I'm not happy about that at all. All right. Rake is rather pointless here with one target. Does this thing have a knock... It has a knockback, dodge speed. He doesn't really have a dodge chance, really. No, nope, not much. Just gonna, just gonna want to focus on a rage here. Okay, there's some damage. We can make this work. I just wish that we could actually uh, mark these targets. Because look how much damage we do without the marks. Snurf. <laughs> snarf, snarf. There we go. Actually, surprisingly low in some ways for a crit. 25 hit points left. 5 hit points left. There we go. Yeah, I think the sheer damage of this party is going to work out. Which is a dangerous thing to say. Hello, Fountain. Can you relieve stress? Please? Please, Fountain. Reinvigorates. 20 stress. Cool. Happy news all around. Alright, so our goal is to explore 90% of rooms. No scouting so far. Not so much luck there. Hey, nasties. How you doing? Alright, don't mind me. All right, let's mark this front guy. Just to make it easier to wipe him out when it's time. Because we don't want too, too much spreading to happen here. Let's see. Now let's, 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 let's attack. Hey, scaries. Whoa, we are getting bonus stress compared to before, that's for sure. All right. We're definitely getting more stress as a result of that character than we were previously. Grape shot. We'll do minor damage across the board. Really want to folk. We really we want to take this extra guy out. I think. Yeah. Not quite so lucky. Let's see. Suppressing fire would attack both for crap damage. Not worth it. Sniper shot. Let's try to damage evenly. Devastating. Twenty three. There we go. He's gonna multiply now, isn't he? Not quite. Psytokinesis, what are you doing? Oh, that's the spreading. Okay. Who's a bunch of nasty? Four to seven, you say? Oh, that's not enough to kill the middle guy, though. Still marking against kind of pointless, so let's go for this. Their formation is broken. There we go. Maintain the offensive. There's a few skills that should work here, like Rake. There we go. Give them no quarter. Yeah, he's, a, he's a real scary damage dealer with those two items stacked on him. One of the primary threats is just the, uh... One of the primary things we just have to worry about is the stress. We are getting things that are specifically not deeds so far. Bummer. Hey, friends. No friends. This is a good game to not have friends, though. <laughs> uh... We'll keep exploring along here. Hello, log. Hello, log. Empty room. And continue forth. No scouting this time. No such luck. And we have this situation here. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Why nature? Malformed with misintent. Why must you be malformed with misintent? Do we have? We do not have anti venom, or medicinal over herbs. I mean. So we're gonna not gonna deal with that right now. Ideally. Another empty room. All right, scouting. What a series of boring empty rooms over there. 
Let's see, 90%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I probably can't skip both of those rooms over there, so let's go ahead and head over there. I don't... The rounding may be a little interesting, but I don't think we can get away with that. Hey, friend. Let's not get surprised, because that would mess with my party composition. How y'all's doing today? Four to six across the board. Uh... Probably should just single target, huh? Six to eleven is not enough to kill any of them, but four to six... Is a lot of damage across the entire party, up to 18. Yeah, more. it's, it's kind of worth it. Follow up with Ebola and the, sh the sheer number of uh, stacked attacks like that could actually be really handy. Oh, you're gonna give me ra you gave her rabies. Huh. Don't know how the bonus damage really applies. It is just a 15% flat bonus to damage. Which is weird, because she's a ranged character. So it doesn't quite make as much as, as much sense. Let's go ahead and fix her up a little bit. And... Could do Bola. 4 to 9. Or I could single target now that they're all weakened. Try to finish one off. Or they could dodge it. Cool. So what I, no, it's cool. That's what I was hoping would happen. Alright, let's try to heal, finally. Solid roll. And no bleed. Look at us getting lucky. Alright, I think I'm gonna want to go in there. They're weaker, so I was tempted to try to go in with not transforming, but the miss is turning that against me. I don't want to give them too many opportunities. God damn, he's a scary character. He's a scary character that gives me expensive stress heals. Since we since we don't have a jester on this run. Thought I'd try these other characters for now. There, now you should be easier to hit, right? And easier to damage. Not that it matters, apparently. Abomination's really crazy powerful when he's not when he's not giving his teammates heart attacks. Ooh. That's gonna cost me a shovel. I'm gonna make that the one room I don't explore. I can definitely get away with at least one room, maybe two. I'm not entirely sure if it rounds up or down that way. But I'm gonna ignore that one room because there's a there's nothing in it. And there's a I need to use a shovel to get there. And I need to use a shovel to get here already, as far as I can tell, and so... At that point, I'll be already down to one, and let's just not gamble that hard. No, at that point, I'll be down to zero, won't I? Yeah. I would have been down to zero if I had to use both of those, and let's not gamble on there being no more shovel points along the way. Let's do this one fight, on this way to the empty room. And then I think I'm gonna camp in that building. To make us more powerful for the following rooms. Let's see. You're all relatively tanky. This, uh, what I'm, what I, what I do get, get is that the whole, uh, the whole mark-based group, which we used last round too, definitely benefits from fighting larger groups of, uh, groups of larger enemies in smaller quantities, because they get fewer actions, and you get to mark the one dude, and the mark lasts several turns against that guy, and is generally more helpful. It's a little less useful when it's these in a bu bunch of, uh. A whole bunch of characters, we have to keep having to add a new mark all the time. I'm gonna go for this guy. Please. Sweet. Because I really want that guy to be out of the way as fast as possible with his stress. Frankly, the Abomination does enough of that on his own, I think. Hey guys, how you doing? Just gonna cost him- Oh, 4 to 8 is not great. Ooh, maybe take out the Enchantress? Exactly. Cool. Oh, he got his turn first. You son of a bitch. Alright, not happy about that. And he had to go on and survive, huh? That's a bummer. A decisive kind of waste Shadow Side's turn. My characters are so crippled with debuffs right now. If, only, if, I, if I just had more money, I could try to cure them. But at some point, you, it's hard to justify spending that much money on them, especially since they have a tendency to just up and die, as we've seen. I could try to heal this guy for seven, or mark one of these guys. I should mark at least one of them. The one on the, the, one on the back row that could be targeted by all these ranged attacks. And then I'll start working on healing Shadow Scythe next. But the faster we get rid of at least one of them, the faster we have fewer attacks coming in. And that'll be good for all of us. He went and survived, didn't he? Even with that bonus damage. Son of a bitch. Please keep missing. Cool. 
Wow, that was lucky, actually. Hey. We don't have anything for that, right? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, four to seven. What's Grape Shot gonna do? Two to three. Uh, not, not a likely kill, unfortunately. All right, let's finish him off. Impressive. Impressive. Hey, a little stress heal. That's what we need. And I'm getting stressed just for being in this form, unfortunately. Let's make a mess. That's not what I meant by that. All right, nice try, I guess. Heal. Six is a number. Yay, and he resisted. Blight. He's just stacking that up now. Oh my god, 12 damage of Blight alone. Worrying. For a number of reasons. Let's see, knockback is useless here. Let's do blind fire. Cool, we got the we got the character and not the corpse. Just follow up on that. Alright, heal again. There's a proper number. No bleed, no bleed, no bleed. Cool. Unfortunately, he's still going to take eight more damage. Taking him down to 17. So he's still taking hits in a way that I'd prefer he did not. It's tempting just to do Duelist Advance. Let's do Grape Shot. Nope. I just, I'd just i prefer to not put him in the point front view. I guess it doesn't matter because he will attack anybody, won't he? So I guess when you're already in rank 2, it doesn't really matter if you're charging, charging forward. Oh, there's more Blight. Okay, that's not good. Y'all are just a bunch of dicks, ain't ya? Alright. Blind fire. He's down. Which actually is bad in some ways, because we didn't get to do an another heal. Hey, a shovel. This expedition at least promises success. Sorry. It's cool, guys. We're gonna eat a feast in the next room. Then you'll feel better, right? Here. Yeah, I just wanted to make that last tick happen <laughs> as I entered this room. Uh, the next room's empty, too. I'll go ahead and let, uh, and let the torch run out for efficiency's sake. Since resting, we'll reset the torch. There's one. All right, so we're down, down to... Still have two shovels left. No herbs for that. Should be safe in this room. All right, now we will rest. Ooh, scouting. Ooh. We've got a secret room. That's cool. If there's any time I need a secret room, it's on this run, I think. Spark without kindling. We're doing great on food. Without hope. There you go, everybody. Let's see, I can prevent the nighttime ambush, which is really good for our health, but give us a little stress. Give someone damage, but increase my own stress by 15. Uh, not a crazy concept if I do it for the, uh... If I do it for the abomination. Bonus speed on self. Bonus oh bonus damage for self, but really bad stress problems. It's very tempting. I could do such scary things to this guy's damage. Ooh, this also prevents nighttime ambush and reduces the chance of surprises. Is it scouting chance? No, monster surprise. That's also good for us. I want to do that, I think. Especially since it doesn't increase our stress. This is also tempting, but it uses so much of our time. Everyone gets speed. I kind of want to double buff our character over here. Let's see, that costs two. That costs four. Stress all around, obviously. And that costs four, costing a total of ten. At which point we can, like... We can basically give someone a pep talk at that point. I think that's, that might be the path I take just for obliterating people. I kind of, part of me just wants to see it happen. Is that bad? I just want to see how much of a mess I can make. This is probably dangerous. Bandit sense. None shall surprise us. All right. And we'll do a pep talk on our front line here. Help avoid him getting more stress if we can, if we can. God, his numbers are just going to be scary now. 16 to 30 damage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. All right. We should be safe from an ambush. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. All right. So we're definitely going to get this side room. Gimme, gimme. I got a key. And haven't used any of them yet. Money. It's funny. Someone was saying to take more risks, even though we just did the mission where uh, everyone was dying. 
it, 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 it's not funny because I'm not specifically making fun of that comment, but just, uh, you guys are nothing, there's no, if, if there's any consensus in the comments, it's that there's no consensus in the comments. No, none of the, uh, none of your opinions even slightly match each other on how, how to treat this game in general, and it's pretty amusing to watch. Pistol shot. Uh, this guy, they both suck, really. I don't really want to be covered in blight, but the casters are also bad. And this guy has prot, reducing my damage to hilarious extents, actually. 4 to 8 to 6 to... yeah. Let's go for the back row. Wipe her out real quick. Wipe them out. All of them. No, that's not what I was going for. Bummer, alright. Um... Move resistances, 45. Kinda wanna just pull the battery to the front row and just beat its face in. That is not the skill I thought I clicked on. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I, I did the wrong tentacle move. I meant to do pull forward. And I did abyssal artillery. The tide turns. That was a terrible mistake on my part. No, don't do that. Oh no. You done fucked everything up for me. Do not appreciate. Damn it. Ah, uh, rearranging party sucks, because you can spend... You can spend so many precious turns trying to just fix their composition. Hey, buddy. I'm in the front now. And I'm I'm hungry. I mean, I'm angry. And hungry, maybe. Now the attacks are missing. All around bad news. We need to get back. Or we're going to be in trouble here. Duelist advance. Wow! Hit chance is garbage right now, huh? Alright. There we go. That's that's some lucky shot right there. I'm just gonna use Duelist Advance again to get back in front. I'm better off doing blind fire than completely waiting and not using anyone's attacks. Jesus! Is that because she was marked? This fight went bad fast, didn't it? Oh. At least that happened. Alright, I'm not gonna be marking target right now because this person's dying. Duelist Advance. Really? We're doing terrible with actually connecting attacks. Unfortunately. Alright, Rage. Let's rip this guy apart. Use all that extra damage we built up on you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> is that the biggest heal I've ever seen? I think it is. Wow. Wow, the damage we're doing today. I don't like this guy. I don't like him one bit. Wow. We're just critting left and right, aren't we? Oh, he's, oh, they bled. Still, could be worse. I have a fix for that, at least. Advance. Keep the Arbalest in the back row where they have proper control and can use their skill that benefits from marking. If I ever get a chance to mark, because they keep doing so much damage per turn. No, I just fixed my party. Oh, that's not too bad. Duelist Advance fixes that. Just means I get to use a lot of blind fire. At least he didn't hurt us. Now he's so lo now he's so low that my talk of marking is pointless. The bigger the beast, okay, the the glory. our party came out of that healthier than I was worried they might. Uh, let's use some food so I can grab these portraits because those those are handy. Medicinal herbs, they're nice, but crests are nice too. Uh, we're just about to open another chest, too. Let's grab the the crest. I'm probably gonna get something else to replace things with anyway in a second here. Hidden compartment, and... Hellion item, gold, gems. I have room for one of those things. Uh, we're close to the end. Very close to the end. A lot of these are permanent upgrade type items. Do I go without a shovel? We need a shovel right there, unless I go around it, but we might need a shovel afterwards anyway. Bus... I could just go around it, I guess. And risk no shovel? Don't really want to risk heart attacks, though, is the problem. And emeralds are valuable. And the pendants are worth something, even if I don't choose to keep them around. It might be time to go without bandages for the emeralds. And then for the pendant, 
I need food for it if we starve one more time. I don't want to stack stress and make us all freak out more than I have to, because we already have stress problems to begin with. I pretty much forced us to have stress problems when I made the party this way. These are all upgrade items, a key. There could be a chest in that room, potentially. I may just have to go without the pendant. I feel like our stacks of money could be worth more, ultimately. And our stacks of gems could stack up higher than the pendant's individual cost could be. Alright. That's the, that's the decision I'm going to go with. Pressing forward. I haven't disarmed a single trap in this entire run, have I? I want that free stress reduction. Our poor characters are about to lose their minds. Alright, scout for me. Ah, I'm more like, scout me like one of your French girls. We should keep moving, they say. Oh, time to eat. Hey, tiny amount of health. Not really valuable. I really wish that eating did a little bit of stress reduction. That'd be nice. I came for nothing, but I will not end from nothing. Or with nothing. You old klepto. There's a map inside. Cool. We know that there's nothing ahead of us. How exciting. What's your deal again? Obsessed with material things. There's a lot of things that make people open stuff. A lot of traits like that. And it's empty. Oh, we've completed the run. Okay. So we get away with three unexplored rooms, apparently. 90% of, like, 15... Was it 15? I think it was 15, if I remember correctly. So there's more fights we could do, but we are on the verge of getting a lot more stressed. And our inventory is basically full. It is tempting to retreat. I'm somewhat undecided. Dare I risk a little more stress? We're so healthy, you know? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a few more fights. We can replace some of these not these uh, supplies with mo with money items at the very least. Oh, hello, scary fight target. Oh, they're surprised. That's good news. I like it when you're surprised. Uh, please stop living. That's not what I was asking for. You don't really be, you don't really listen, do you? Maybe this is why you're a lonely her person in the middle of nowhere. Granted, ever oh shit, hysterical blindness, minus accuracy on high stress. Because that got the high, the stress is too high now. That's why you suck. <laughs> All of a sudden, our hit chances are so garbage. Bummer. I've got so many tra uh, traits to try to fix on these characters. Yeah, I, I did not connect that properly from the get-go. I was like, oh yeah, it's a high stress. They have. Uh, he loses accuracy on high stress, but surely I can avoid high stress, right? And then I, then I put him in a group with an abomination and didn't think that was stupid, apparently. I do need to get that fixed. And there's the resolve. Yeah! Good happened. I figured at the very least we can avoid people getting killed. Oh, come on, man. Even that's getting dodged. What is your low hit chance? Do you, what does your low hit chance come from? Is it just our under underdeveloped weapons at this point? Oh come on now! Oh oh! In a, in a really? Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge. Oh no! He transformed back to shit mode. You're ruining everything for me right now. Damn it! What makes him so bad at hitting? Is he just always bad at hitting? No? I mean, his stats are worse now for obvious reason. Accuracy mod of minus 12, dear lord. All those damage buffs are gonna amount to nothing now. This is, uh... This is messy. This is messy. Well... Let's mess with the party composition, right? There we go. Now punch it in the face. Let's pistol shot this guy. Ah. Uh, weird. Alright. Passing your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for staying here another turn. The game's gonna make me feel like I should have left already. Should I be trying to take this guy out? Uh, what? I pulled them forward, but if I can't control that guy, that was a mistake, I guess. 
I was gonna I was gonna try to deck them in the face, basically. Hey, a crit. Come on. Never skate oh, I can read that backwards. You and your backwards text. Oh, you can only transform once per battle, so you screwed me when you switched out of that. You son of a bitch. You were just ruining things for me. Come on, please take her out. Oh, so close. Hey! At least you can't do anything annoying for a turn. That's at least worth something. Was this guy hit? 14 dodge still. Can I stack the minus dodge? Minus 17 dodge. Dodge is zero. It's got to amount to something. We'll bolo to get rid of her real quick. Double crit. That's handy. Oh no. He caught the worries? <laughs> he caught the worries. That's an option? Well, I guess we're gonna get a two for one coupon when I take him to get his treats recovered. No, they got the worries too. How is that a trait? Oh, more resolve. Paranoid. Alright, that's what I get for sticking around. Well, you know what? Maybe the, maybe the money reward is gonna be worth it, you know? <laughs> maybe it'll still be worth it. What's his dodge? Still zero. It hasn't worn off yet. No one needs a heal yet, though. Let's just keep that debuff in place. So people can finish him off. Come on, guys. Let's see. Recover a little stress? Come on, for me. There we go. Sniper shot. A victory. Lots of money, lots of money, lots of money, lots of money. Yeah. I mean, I have, I, have, I have room for all of it, at least. Yeah, that was... It was almost a grand, I guess. Except now I have to pay... For, I mean, I was going to pay for everyone to get treatment anyway, because they were at high stress. And one person recovered stress, so that was kind of... Kind of a benefit? But yeah... Troubles in this party, right now. Two characters freaking out, one on the verge of freaking out. I think it's time to go. <laughs> Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let All right. On there are definitely downsides to the occultist, uh... The, the occultist abomination run. Very handy for high damage. Problematic for, uh... The costs afterwards. Hey, we got almost 20 grand, though. That's kind of putting us back on our feet. There's that, at least. 24... Ah, uh, three deeds. At least they gave us six for the reward. I was just hoping we'd pick up more along the way, too. Yay, more negative traits. I'm always happy to see... It. Vampiric spirits. Minus 50% debuff resist. Shadow Sight's gonna get fucking... If we're lucky, three debuffs... Three diseases removed simultaneously. He is just... What is that? It was like a... I don't even remember what, what that was... What what the gig was... The joke was from, but there was something where, like... When they talked about how many diseases somebody had, they were like, it'd actually be easier to list which ones you don't have. It's getting that way for him. Alright, so Bogdanius is easier to get killed. Reduced de uh, death blow resist. Ma hey! Accuracy and crit on humans. The accuracy helps, because we, we, he does debuff and movement skills. So it's more useful than it is for, like, some other character sometimes. But still would be best to use on an actual attacker. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Well, at least we succeeded at the run, right? There's that. Let's get all of you off that crew, you poor, poor souls. And the, uh, the wheel is leveled up a bit more, and we got some more deeds. Let's see, blacksmith. Do I have, yep, I finally have enough. One more that I need. So I can go for... Rank 4 weapons or rank 4 armor, which gives me the ability to upgrade characters like these? Yeah. So I can finally get the upgrades for these characters, which is handy because, as you see, more and more characters are on the verge of hitting level 4, and having a decent chunk of level 4s with upgraded equipment could be the how we take out some serious boss fights later. But Crookshank's unfortunately about to level 5, so she does one boss fight basically and then she'll be out of here. It's rough how they're... You can't really form a cohesive group because of how quickly they're ripped into different tiers. At least those that survive to level 6 will be able to group up nicely, just long enough to get killed by the Darkest Dungeon, I'm sure. So, armor or weapons? Ah. Always tough. More dodge and hit points. I'm trying to look back and forth, but the numbers don't look different, unfortunately. 
So more damage versus more da uh, dodge and hit points. It's a tough call to make. I'd rather I'd be happy doing either of them, but I have to pick one. And more hit points would be ha uh, yeah. More damage. A good offense is is often a good defense in this game. But I'm noticing that some of, a lot of my characters can almost get one shot, where one big attack takes out three fourths of their hit points. So I think the armor is going to be my first priority here. A sharper sword, a stronger shield, anything to prolong a soldier's life. And an expensive upgrade it will be. Let's go to visit the sanitarium for poor, poor Shadow Scythe. The worries gives you. Th wow! That is a dick move. It's it's a debuff that gives you 30% bonus stress damage. Alright. Who else got that? That was. Was it our Arbalest? Yep, you got it too. And rabies, which I don't really need to get rid of necessarily, but worries, yes. You two, both of you, get rid of the worries. It done gave you a scare, huh? Alright. How's the guild doing? We're slight. We're almost able to get the next level of instructor mastery. At which point, I'll probably hang out and upgrade our, our. Uh, once I get the rank fours up, I'm probably going to focus on reducing costs at that point. But uh, always mixed feelings there. I'm just very happy we found a secret room in that run, so we can get the money to continue. Because things got rough there. Lotus, how do you do in town? No cheat. Cannot gamble. All right. You poor fool. That's the wrong place. Alright. Increased stress recovery. Very tempting. They're, they're, the overlapping resources are rough. Get better, buddy. And voice could use some help, which wasn't even the person we took on that run. I just let him do an extra run without recovering stress. We'll only visit the brothel. That's rough. I had him sit out that round earlier just because it was... We were so short on money I didn't want to spend it right then for stress relief. But I think we're good for at least the moment. Thanks for watching like always, guys. I'll see you next time. Things have, uh... Things are certainly less casual than they were before. Definitely more worried about a lot of my decisions than we were, like, four episodes ago. See you next time.